So when the Bible does talk about darkness, I don't think that there was any darkness or separation between you and God, but the, but the separation and the darkness was only in our minds. So we are the ones that grow up with the truth, already knowing it in our heart of who we are, that we're loved and all that. But then it's when we grow up and our parents or people tell us, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're no good for nothing. And then it becomes a collective mind, right? It's the ego that starts forming. And then you start being controlled by your subconscious mind, right? So what we have to do is we have to continue to learn the truth and unlearn a lot of the lies that we were taught that you, God loves you, but you have to go all these steps, you know, acknowledge, confess, and repent, and believe, and then God accepts you, you know. So we have to remove a lot of the religion. And that's why my book's called Letting Go of Religion, because it was a process for me. It wasn't just one dramatic change. It's like, okay, here's this other idea I have in my mind. I thought I was separated from God because of my sin, or when I, or when I do something stupid, I felt like I was going to get in a car accident. That's the fear that I had that I created all in my mind. And all I had to do it, in biblical terms, I had to renew my mind exactly. and tell me that I had nothing to be afraid of, right? Because I'm the ones creating, I'm, in a sense, I'm the one creating this reality, mm -hmm. in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. Or waking up and discovering the true reality of who I really am yeah. in God.